Hello and welcome to Sunday School for January 3rd, 2021. It's our first Sunday School for 2021. I hope you guys are having a great new year and that you have been enjoying your Christmas celebration. Uh, Christmas uh, still is happening. Christmas is until January 5th, as we talked about uh, last Sunday. So I hope you guys keep celebrating and enjoying that time. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Epiphany. Um, Epiphany is uh, the celebration, the first day of Epiphany anyway, is the celebration of the wise men coming uh, to see Jesus, as we, we talked about several weeks back in November. And uh, I am not in my office today. I am not in a place where I have access to a whiteboard. So we're going to be doing this a little bit differently. So I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna look at some pictures and learn about the wise men coming to see Jesus. So we shall see how, uh, how this goes. All right. Uh, all right, so hopefully you guys can see uh, what is there. Uh, this uh, picture is actually one of the last pictures I was going to show you, but uh, hopefully I can uh, get it up to where we need it to be. So again, we're talking about Epiphany, uh, the three wise men. Well, actually, I shouldn't say three wise men because I don't know that. Uh, the Bible says wise men or magi, and both of those words are plural, which means there had to have been at least two. Um, but uh, anyway, we always talk about three. So we talk about three because there were three gifts. So here is a picture that has been made of that. January 6th is the normal um, Epiphany uh, feast day. Uh, and so you have Christmas from um, December 25th through January 5th, and then the next day is the first day of the Epiphany season where we celebrate those uh, wise men coming. Uh, you can find uh, the best and most accurate information about this in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, and I definitely recommend that you go check that out so you can get uh, the best of it. So, uh, we have these magi, and the magi uh, are people who advise the king in wherever it is that they are. Um, they tend to know prophecies from different countries, uh, as well as their own. Uh, they, they, um, what happened to that star? All right. All uh, right. Anyway, they know the prophecies from different countries as well as their own. Uh, they know history, they know all kinds of other things. Um, but these guys, they knew um, about prophecies that had to do with stars. And they saw a star while they were uh, looking up at the sky one day. And based on what they knew about all these prophecies, the king of the Jews, this very special king of the Jews, was going to be born. So they saw the star, they got on to their camels or whatever they were riding. We, we don't know for sure that it was camels, the Bible doesn't say, and they followed the star. Well, they followed the star and then they eventually stopped in Jerusalem, which is where they figured a king would be born because that's where uh, the person who was called the king uh, was living. Uh, there was a palace there for him to be in, and they stopped and they talked to this guy. They talked to this guy named Herod, and Herod was not a nice guy. Um, he wanted to keep his throne, and so the, the wise men go and they talk to him, and they say, "We there's somebody been born who's just been born king of the Jews recently, and we saw the star, That's uh, and we want to know where he is. And the King Herod goes, what are you talking about? I guess Herod really didn't know um, things uh, as much as he should have, right? Being the king of the Jews, you'd think that he would know some of these prophecies um, because knowing the Old Testament and prophecies and everything was a big deal. The Jews spent time just memorizing that stuff. So King Herod wasn't very good at being king of the people he was supposed to be king of. But anyway, he 
he went to his advisors, the people that would have been kind of like his wise men or his magi and said, hey, you know, where is this guy? Um, and uh, they looked and they were looking up Old Testament uh, prophecies. And the Old Testament prophecies that they looked up said that Jesus would be in, would be in Bethlehem. Uh, and it said that that's where he'd be born. And they were looking up, and what they likely were looking up was in Micah chapter, chapter 5, verse 2. And so they said he'd be in Bethlehem. Micah chapter 5, verse 2 said so. So Herod tells the wise men, um, go to Bethlehem and find him, and then come back and tell me where to find him. Um, Herod did not have good intentions. He was not going to go worship Jesus. He was going to try and hurt him. But um, the wise men did not know this yet. So they said, okay. So they go and they get to a house. The star stops over a house and the wise men have lots and lots of joy. They're rejoicing when the, when the star finally stops. They have great joy. Uh, joy. We've talked about lots of joy um, because, and just a few weeks ago we did because that third week in Advent is all about joy. Well, the wise men had lots of joy. They go to the house, as you can see in this picture. Okay, I don't have them at the um, stable uh, where Jesus was born. I don't have them, you know, where Jesus is in a manger anymore. This picture has them at a house because. Uh, in Matthew 2, it says that the star stopped at a house. Uh, so they, this is after Jesus is born. They didn't come to the manger. Um, they went to a house and um, they saw Mary and the baby or and the child. It says child now. So who, Jesus might not have even been a little baby. Well, uh, after that, they give him three gifts, and those gifts are gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold and frankincense and myrrh are three very special things. You know what gold is. It's, it's going to be something that they can use for money. Frankincense, that uh, is a special kind of uh, spice as it is myrrh and actually myrrh is something that's used was used uh, after somebody died so um, they may have known some prophecies about him about how his death was going to be we don't know that for sure it doesn't say but it does say that they worshiped Jesus as the new king they followed a star they went to Herod they talked to him Herod found out from his advisors that Jesus was going to be born in Bethlehem. They followed the star again. They went to a house. They saw Mary and Joseph, or, or they saw Mary and the baby, um, or and the child. And um, that is uh, what we know about when Jesus, uh, when the wise men came. We don't know how many there were. We don't know how many there were. There could have been two. They could have been a hundred. Uh, it just says wise men or magi, so there had to have been at least two. And we always put three there because there were three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So this was one of those first times that a Gentile saw Jesus. Um, and a Gentile, so... I'm a Gentile. Probably most of you watching this are Gentiles, people that are not Jews. Jesus was a Jew, um, and people that are not Jews are called Gentiles. God had a plan for everybody to know who Jesus is. It wasn't just for the Jews, although they knew the most because God gave them all the prophecies and everything. It was for everybody. And so this was one of those first times after Jesus was born that Gentiles got to see and know about Jesus. And guess what? Those wise men, those magi, they were sinners, just like you and me. They, um, they needed a savior just as much as you and I. They needed a savior just as much as Herod. Um, we don't know what happened to Herod in that respect. 
but um, they needed that savior and we need that savior. And so Jesus came, he came to be born. He came uh, so that the wise men could come see him, that he came to live that perfect life. And then he died on the cross, he died on the cross to save you and me and the wise men and everybody. He wants everybody uh, to be saved from their sins so that they can be with him one day in heaven. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, and uh, I, like I said, I hope you had a great New Year's celebration. Christmas is for another couple of days. So keep celebrating that. And uh, I'll be back uh, next week, January 10th for another video. God's blessings.